When managing the airway of an unresponsive patient without a gag reflex, oropharyngeal airways are a good choice. As always, be certain to wear appropriate body substance isolation when managing a patient's airway and begin with manual airway maneuvers first, such as a head tilt chin lift or a jaw thrust for those with suspected spinal injury. Oral airways come in a multitude of sizes, so the first step to using one is to determine the correct size for your specific patient. The way to determine the appropriate size oral airway for an adult patient is to measure the airway against the side of the patient's head. The oral airway should extend from the corner of the patient's lips to the bottom of the earlobe or the angle of the jaw. Once the correct oral airway is selected, open the patient's mouth using a cross finger or scissor finger technique. The airway is then inserted into the patient's mouth with the tip pointing toward the roof of the mouth. Once the airway touches the soft palate, Rotate the airway 180 degrees into anatomical position with the flange resting against the lips or teeth. As another option, the rescuer can also use a tongue depressor or other similar device to move the patient's tongue forward and down. The oral airway is then inserted into anatomical position so as to follow the normal curvature of the oropharynx until the flange rests against the lips or teeth. Once the oral airway is inserted, check for adequate air exchange. 